So one thing I really like about our garden um, in this this 10-day lockdown period and the fact that it's really tough to bring outside people into the, the house at all is that we couldn't get a, um, la a landscaper or a grass cutter to our house. So our backyard grass has grown and it's amazing that as it's wild, as the plants in the grass grow wild, um, flowers are emerging, native plants I've never seen are growing, and it's attracting a lot of, of butterflies. So uh, uh, let me just show you a few of the plants growing. There's our new dog. Yeah, I have no idea what this grass is. This is some kind of interesting grass that I don't know about in the US, I just don't know what this is, but it's it's almost like a duckweed. Then here's the place that's really growing. This is a normal grass, but um, they have clover. So that's 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 obviously in the West. Um, and look at the the butterflies flying on these various really nice flowers. So all kinds of interesting plants are growing and flowers. There are all kinds of, of butterflies growing now, um, as you can see. I hope you can see. And I saw some interesting species of, of butterflies growing here. Um, there's, there's the papaya tree with lots of, of a papaya, which I... Oh, we've been eating. It's, it's, it's been very, very good. So they have this they have this concept in the U.S. of well in the world of not having such a a manicured weed free garden, but having creating uh, allowing for a natural habitat for insects, butterflies, animals um, to live in your, you know, on the land that, the land, the land that you own. So I'm, I'm really enjoying seeing um, the, the less disturbed nature of Sri Lankan gardens and nature.